there. Today, I am going to be showing you how to create a registration page on Zoom. So we're gonna start out on zoom.us, click on my account, go to meetings, and click on the blue button over here, schedule a meeting. You can name it. You can add a description here if you like. And you can add the time, the duration, make sure it's in the, the right time zone. You can have this be a recurring meeting. You can have it be weekly, daily, monthly. You can repeat it for uh, any number of occurrences or you can have an end date. And then the next part, which is crucial to the registration page itself is simply you go to the registration here and click required. What happens when you do this is instead of having the Zoom link that you create with this meeting as a direct link to the Zoom room, instead it'll take you to a page where you have to enter in your name and your email address and click register and then you'll receive a notification in your email. So that's the main difference there. Also, anybody who registers, you will be able to collect their information. Um, I like to go down here to, I like to click on waiting room as opposed to people joining automatically. That way I can control when they come into the room. And under options, I like to mute participants upon entry so you don't get any weird background noise when people join. I also like to record the meeting automatically to the cloud. Now, if you select on your local computer, the video and audio quality will be better, but it will only be recording one type of recording. What I like uh, the cloud for is you get a variety of recordings. You get the speaker view, you get the gallery view, you get the screen share view, you get an audio recording. You also get the transcript if you select that in your settings. So you get all of these different versions of the recording when you save it to the cloud. Also, if you want to share the recording with people, there is a share link where people can watch it directly on Zoom. So that's why I like to do that. It's, it's a personal choice. Um, one of the things that I have found is it's also a little more reliable to always record to the cloud. I have had a, a meeting on Zoom, ended it, and then the recording starts rendering after you end the meeting. And I've had the rendering uh, pull up an error message and that recording was just lost. And I've never had that happen when I record to the cloud. So that's another reason why I like to do it that way. It's just a little more reliable. Okay, so you have all your settings there. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And there you go. When you click on this link, this is what it looks like. It shows the occurrences. It shows the time, the date, the title, and you have to enter your information here. Now, if you wanna get a little more fancy, you can go up here to branding and you can upload an image. See if I can find something here. Okay, let's try this one. Okay. So now this is going to have a little thumbnail image that goes along with it. You can also upload a logo. 
But what I like to do with this one is I like to get a little more fancy by using a QR code here. So there we go. Instead of a logo, I'm putting a QR code. And that way you have an additional access point on your registration page. So now let's go to that uh, page again. I'm gonna refresh. This time we have the QR code there and the image at the top. It makes it a little more professional and you can even use this as a landing page for your event. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much and have a great day.